Well, I want to I want to ask you about that okay. because I hear the AFL CIO does some stuff with jobs. Yeah. And, and so, like, you know, having Alaskan jobs here that are high paying, then people aren't so willing to trade. Just like, you know, we're looking at Bristol Bay right now. As soon as fisheries are in the decline, not because of fish, but because of markets, then you, you see the, the mining come up. Where, you know, the opinion can go. And frankly, we just can't afford, you know, a huge hole in the ground. But on the, on the issue of jobs, like on the slope, I mean, you can't just, you know, date the governor's daughter to get a job on a slope. And you're kind of in charge of some of those trade schools. Yeah, well, you, uh, I used, I I used mean, to run the largest you, apprenticeship program in the state, which is the IBW Select Workers. And, uh, and I'm involved with all of the trades. And we have you know, some of the best trade. We do have the best training programs in the state for, for trade workers. And, but again, it's only, we can only take in as many people. And I always hear this argument, well, we don't have enough people in this state to do the work. And I have every forum I've gone to, I said, that is BS. The problem is, you don't create enough jobs for us to take enough people in. You know, you're bringing people in from outside as opposed to cultivating Alaskans for those jobs. We always had a waiting list of people that had interviewed, they were ranked, and they were just looking for a shot to go to work, but we couldn't take them in because there wasn't enough jobs for them to go to, at least jobs that were being hired, you know, right. from Alaska, and they're bringing in people from out of state. So we don't have a, res a human resource problem when it comes to the trades, so we can train them, and we can put them to work as quick as the as quick as the jobs come about, as quick as people you know will hire Alaskans. So, what would it mean to Alaska if, you know, if we were able to get this all Alaska gas line? Because I know the majority of Alaskans want that. Yeah. What would it mean, not just in terms of like, okay, now I can heat my house and I live out in you know, you know where the Thule's, also known as I don't know Chafornik or wherever. So that, you know you can heat your house there. But what does it mean? What would it mean to us when it comes to jobs, economy, that sort of thing? I mean, it sounds a, like a, a hell pipeline. of a stimulus package, like well, Viagra-induced. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean, mean to would, like. If we built a pipeline, whether it be you know, one that I know Bill's not uh, in favor of that goes into Canada. I mean, I don't, I don't know an Alaskan that doesn't want to build an all-Alaska gas pipeline. Uh, and w either which way it goes, I mean, we're ready and willing and able, uh, you know, to build a project, um, and and trying to get people to work on that project uh, isn't going to be that hard. It's going to be a matter of getting people ramped up, though, over the next several years. And it'll mean, I mean, it's going to be job training now and jobs that are going on for the next several years so we're ready to build a project, whether it's in-state or out. And that'll be for construction jobs. But at the end of that, I mean, when you have in-state gas, you're going to create manufacturing jobs. There's all kinds of potential for building um, you know, economic development by having our own gas in-state. Um, so why don't we have this? I mean, for God's sake, why? I mean, who has really been sort of the blockers on this? Because is it the producers? No. Are they just not no. ready for it yet? Well, is know, it, have we just had administrations there, there that have was, blown? A, Wally Hickel, our former governor, is this big advocate of we can do these things. And, and um, there was an article actually written by, I think it was Tim Bradner a little while ago, mm -hmm. who said, what happened to that can-do spirit in Alaska? Right. We used to say, we're going to do this, and we did it. I mean, we built all kind of things for years. From the, but around the time of the completion of the TAPS pipeline, we kind of went to sleep. Mm -hmm. What we did, we, we got... We went from uh, can-do to do me. <clears throat> we got lazy on, on the oil money in some respect. And, and uh, uh, I, don't, I don't blame the producers at all. I've read and reread. I mean, as my profession, I read, you know, I read those leases on the North Slope, there's no obligation for the producers to build a pipeline. We've been throwing, we've been strafing them with carrots and with sharp sticks over these years and trying to get them to encourage them or threaten them. There's no obligation to build a pipeline. They have said if someone does a line, we ship, game over. And so, I, and I agree with Vince. You know, it's, it's, it's the construction jobs are important. I worked on TAPS, I worked as a, as a laborer and in Teamster Union as a carpenter union. And so I, I, I have a good, good feel for, for the, the, the construction experience, but it's the post construction what I'm interested in. You know, it's the liquids, you know, the, and I promise I won't get technical, but, but there are liquids <laughs> right. on the, uh, uh, with this gas, and, it, and, and it's very, it's, it, you know, the, when the Premier of Alberta says, our pound of flesh on the Alaska gas line coming through Canada is we want the liquids. And I go, excuse me? I think we'll take them. We'll take them in Alaska. And I was told by the administration, we can't take the liquids in Alaska because we don't have the manufacturing here. My response was, until you get the liquids, you aren't going to have the manufacturing. You've got to start with something. We'll take the liquids here first and keep them in Alaska. So it's the... It's the value-added jobs that, that create the, you know, I mean, I mean, Agri is a good example. I mean, those were high-paying jobs in, 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 in the peninsula that are not there anymore. But that was, that was came from the development of, of, of the resource, whatnot. So, 
uh, it, it is about keeping the jobs in Alaska and, and, and keeping, the, keeping the hope alive in Alaska that, that, that we really are going to do this. And who, who, whose fault has it been? It's, it's been us as Alaskans because we've allowed, we've allowed this process to continue without getting mad and saying, I mean, we, we voted on it. We have passed an initiative. I mean, someone in Palmer recently had a presentation. They said, you know, we should, we should, you know, get out there with our pitchforks and do something. And in Palmer, they they can do that in Palmer. <laughs> and they said, you know, we should, we should get to the initiative going. And I said, you did yeah. that. Yeah. You already did that. It's the law. It's forty-one, forty-one, oh, one, oh. That part's done. We need a governor that'll stand up and say, stop. Enough games, enough contests, enough trying to get somebody else to do our job. We're going to do a gas pipeline. You're going to put your gas in our pipeline, and it's going to go to market, it's going to Alaska. That's what we need as a governor that's willing to, to not play a political game, not tiptoe around the issue, not worried about up upsetting somebody and say, this is what we're going to do. Who's not running for vice president? No. If you became governor, would you promise not to run for vice president? <laughs> I would be. Can you make me I that was, vow? I was asked He's that question. He's on the list. I, I was and, asked and that I also, question. I also want the, that you won't pose for Playgirl. No I won't, I, won't, I won't do that either. And, I would, I would, and will you serve your entire term? I will do all the above. The whole time. Here's, you know, the, how, how, how low of a threshold we have gotten. Raise the bar. <laughs> so, and so, and so. But I was asked that question. On, on, I was on a talk radio show, uh, a fairly conservative talk radio show in the afternoon. I was asked that question. And my response was, if I would, if I was, if I got the call. No, it was on Bob Mark show. I remember now. I remember very well. If I got that call, and I would say, you know, we would be about to Fairbanks with the gas line. Are you kidding me? You couldn't drag me out of the, out of the state of Alaska because we will build that gas line if I'm when I'm governor. We will we will do that. So there is no, I'm not run, I'm not running to be, to elevate to, to move on to the next rung of political up the. Not at all. But to sort of see to fruition this, Absolutely. this I, project I, you've I, been on. I, I, I also, you know, I don't know that the fake tan and all those clothes would do you Probably justice. not, yeah. <laughs> I got the car hearts, those are all on you. All right. So, right. All right, thank you guys so much. Vince Beltrami, President AFL-CIO, Julie Haskett, Girl Friday, to Senator Begich, <laughs> and Bill Walker, who uh, is the All-Alaska Governor candidate. Can, can I just say that instead of Republican? Yeah, no, you can say that anytime you want. Makes it better for yeah. me. Are yeah. we done already? Are we done already? No, I think we've got more coming up oh, after good. this break. Okay.